the end of the regular season is officially here for Isaiah King Jr. and the Arizona Cardinals. And they're facing the news, the Oakland Raiders, who are incredibly bad. At 4-11, they are a team that we should be blowing out right now, and Isaiah should be putting up big numbers. But this is the first year in quite a while he won't be hitting 2,000 yards. Now, we'll look at Isaiah's stats here momentarily, but for right now, we're going to try to get him up a little bit. Now, we could go receiving back, but I think we want to go power back. If you watched the previous episode, stiff arm is high key trash. We would like to increase that a little bit so we get plus one to awareness, break tackle, stiff arm, and trucking. Those are all good news for Isaiah. And while Isaiah won't be hitting 2,000 yards rushing for the first time since his rookie season, it is okay. He still has 1,700 plus yards. He's a significant amount over Ezekiel Elliott, who's second in the league. And then after him, Joe Mixon is significantly far behind. From a touchdown perspective, Isaiah has been dominating. And 18 touchdowns on the year rushing. He's got about five or six receiving. He's got a couple on the punt return side. Dude has had a monster year, although it's been a little bit calm from his perspective. When you put it in comparison, again, his rookie year is probably the most comparable one that he has right now. His yards per game have been kind of okay, not great. He ended up getting one fumble so far this year, but still, can't be too mad at that. On the receiving side, again, he's improved every single season in terms of his volume of receptions. 30 in his rookie year, 40 in the sophomore, 47 after that, and then 50 so far this year with one game to go. Six receiving touchdowns, he needs one more to increase his already impressive mark. We'll see what he does, but still, this season, uh, with a new team, has been a success. It's the final game of the regular season, and the good news for Isaiah as he tries to pad his stats a little bit more before he packs it in for the playoffs is that he's at home. He's playing on turf, and when you put a guy his speed on turf in an indoor stadium, it's going to be tough for that Raiders defense to keep up with the human cheat code. Now the Raiders try to get things going on offense, but alas, they could not. So they're out here set to punt one deep. To Isaiah sitting back in his own territory. He's going to try to field one, and he's actually going to bring us one out. Isaiah's out here trying to run. Got a couple of guys on him. So far, it was good, and then they brought him down to the 10. Kingsbury's not going to be happy with that one. Are we under center? Got a fullback in the backfield as well. Isaiah takes the handoff, runs into his own guys a little bit, but then he pushes through and picks up what looks to be 11 or 12 yards. Arizona's also rocking the all-black uniforms today, which you don't really see them rock too much. Personally, one of my favorite uniform sets they have, but you see how much more they rock them, especially going into the playoffs. For those of you watching this series and you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you don't hit that subscribe button, because if you subscribe right now, you might wake up tomorrow morning seven feet tall and as fast as Isaiah King Jr., who is out here going from the 25-yard line. No one is even close to him. Big time players make big time plays, and Isaiah said if you don't subscribe, the favorite teams giving up touchdowns like that all season long next year in the NFL. While his punt return wasn't exactly great, the fact that he went 75 yards in that run to the house, pretty incredible. They're punting one deep again this time. He catches about where he ended his last punt return. Good spin move, a good juke, and then like the last one, he goes down pretty much immediately after that. Tyler Murray under center to start this drive. He's got Isaiah blocking for him. Tyler says, I'm going to go ahead and run real quick. He's super quick, but his juke moves, not exactly that great. That being said, he still gets a nice little 10 yards, which ends up getting a first down for Arizona. A little bubble screen here to Isabella, which goes almost positive, except for the fact that it loses three yards. Second and 13 after a little bubble screen, then win nowhere. Tyler across the middle. He finds Christian Kirk, who's got some room. He wiggles around a little bit, and they bring him down at the 49-yard line. Solid drive so far for Arizona, who's already out to a 7-0 lead. Putting a guy in motion here to the left-hand side. Isaiah takes the handoff. He tries to go up the middle. Spins back and immediately is met by a defender who drops him to the ground. It's kind of wild to see the fact that Isaiah has three rushes for 80-plus yards and a touchdown already. Again, thanks to that 75-yarder, he's sitting pretty. A little dump-off pass here to Isabella. Goes down to the 43-yard line now. However, that wasn't good enough. And so in third and four, we're needing to get a conversion here. Kyler Murray back in shotgun. Isaiah the only guy with him. He's got a guy in motion. His left-hand side. Going to set in place. Isaiah breaks to the left. He's back across the middle. A dot here to Isabella. Back-to-back -back catches for him. And he's going to pull that into field goal territory. And all of a sudden, Arizona's putting a threat to double their lead at the moment. Isaiah back in pass protection. Kyler and Christian Kirk, though, not on the same page. Second and ten. And the ball off to Isaiah, who finds some room here. The good juke move separates himself from a defender, and he's down at the 15. So far, so good. This has been one heck of a drive for Arizona. Slow and methodical. Trying to cap it off here. 
Isaiah again looks to be throwing it. They've tried this play a couple times, but it hasn't quite worked. And honestly, just the mere threat that Isaiah could potentially be passing the football has to make the Raiders a little bit nervous there on defense. Isaiah's breaking one out here again. The juke move, he is down this time to the two-yard line. Already over 100 yards rushing in the first quarter. It was first and goal with Murray all alone by his lonesome in the backfield from the two-yard line. This was thrown a dot to Max Williams. Go ahead, Arizona. You doubled your lead. You got to love it. The Raiders were trying to get something going, and then they turned it over. So here in the second quarter, things are looking pretty good for Arizona, except for that pass that just happened. Arizona wants to forget that that play even happened, so they're lining up here in second down, going back to the passing game. This time, Isabella again, I believe his fourth catch of the game so far. Third down and one, already inside the 10. The Raiders, they're about to catch that L. This one is dumped off to Isaiah. However, I'm not sure how Kyler Murray thought he was open in any way, shape, or form. We have moved the ball to the four yard line. Somehow it's first and goal and we're back here to the running game. Isaiah breaks a tackle, tries to break another and instead he just loses four yards. Second and goal from the eight after Isaiah loses those yards. Gonna separate himself. He goes around to the back of the end zone. He gets that toe tap in and Isaiah has another receiving touchdown. His seventh of the season. That's a new record for the young fella. The Raiders continue to struggle and before halftime, Arizona is trying to put more points on the board. Putting a guy back in motion here to the right-hand side. Isaiah takes the handoff. Isaiah, however, is going to get wrapped up by Farrell on that one. Second and 13 now. Kyler Murray's going to unfortunately toss it into his own man. The Raiders are going to pick it up. And just like that, the Raiders, even though it was a defensive touchdown, they're finally on the board. After an unfortunate play, here comes Arizona. Second and 12, trying to get some positive yards going because what just happened in that last one? It's not exactly ideal. They can't afford to have that happen yet again. That little run play rattled off 15 yards for Isaiah and the Cardinals. And deep pass protection. Kyler Murray, however, seems to find the only guy even close to him, however, for a sack. So second down and 15 yards. Two-minute warning is coming up. Probably the last play potentially before that, unless an incompletion comes up. Kyler again seems to run to the only person that could have possibly sacked him in a sea of great pass protection. So with a two minute warning coming up, we have one thing we want to do. Run the football and just go ahead and punt it because you don't foresee much happening here. Isaiah, however, running around like crazy does pick up about nine, but it's a punt time for the Cardinals. The good news about punting it when you're playing a team as bad as the Oakland Raiders, they're bound to end up kicking it right back to you. Somehow we did end up scoring a point. We got 28 now. I don't know how, but we're going to try to put up 35 before halftime. The offense trots back onto the field. We're putting Kyler Murray back in the center with a minute and 10 left and two timeouts remaining. Isaiah goes for something. And again, as you can tell, the running game outside of a big one has been tough. Kyler Murray trying to hurry the team up on offense here. He's got a guy wide open and he overthrows Isaiah King Jr. who would have guaranteed a touchdown. So with Kyler kind of regressing a little bit here, we're gonna let him go shotgun, empty set and see what he can get. Goes for a comeback route. Isabella is immediately brought down. And as you can imagine, this offense is looking stagnant all of a sudden. The only bright side to how bad we ended up closing out the first half is we get the ball at the start of the second half to try to right a couple wrongs out there. Isaiah tries to go for a stiff arm in the middle of the field. It doesn't work, but we'll take the eight yards. With the passing game going as bad as it is, we are all in on the running game right now. Another good run for Isaiah. Small chunk, but it is that first down the team needed. I can shotgun for Arizona. Isaiah's out here moving. He was wide open. Kyler Murray decides to instead just pick up four yards. So far, so good for Arizona. They're chewing up the clock a little bit. Again, they need to get some more points to board just for, honestly, style points. But what a hit on Isaiah. So on third and four, here come the Cardinals trying to get some points on the board. Kyler Murray's probably going to run. He doesn't. He actually throws a pass. And it's a first down for Arizona through the air. I'm surprised. Nice little 10-yard game for Arizona. We've got first and 10 again. Actually, that play action has been mostly effective when Kyler stops running into his own guys. He does it again. Isaiah forgets to block for him because he's looking all around. And it's the best run by Kyler all game. The passing game working as well. We got to go right back to it. The action fake is there. Isaiah's out here moving. Kyler's out here running. Isaiah again not blocking for him in any way, shape, or form. And we see a five-yard run by Kyler. To be honest, though, Kyler can't take too many more hits like that. He's taking a lot of sharp hits against his body. The smaller frame guy it's not ideal and speaking of bad hits look at isaiah running for negative yards 
outside of that major run, it has been a poor performance from Isaiah. You got to love the touchdown. You got to love the theatrics behind it. But you can't love how he's played ever since that. Moving again, trying to make something happen. He gets his team down to the 34, but I don't know if our kicker can actually make something from there. This will be a close one. Kings very opted to kick the field goal. It doesn't go in because, again, our kicker, not the best. So an 18-point lead as well. As you can tell, the Raiders got some points on the board. That 14-yard carry was exactly what this team needed. Through the air, they've been struggling. Through the running game, they've been struggling. To finally have something major like that work out is a blessing. Now, Kyler, again, running like crazy, picks up four, but he's a little too run happy. This team is looking for him to get in a groove heading into the postseason, but if he's playing like this, it is going to be a much larger load that Isaiah has to carry than he's used to. And here's Kyler again, running for what feels like the a million time, but it's only the eighth time. Fourth quarter is here. An 18-point lead is great. If they score one more touchdown, all of a sudden, things got a little bit dicey. Here's Isaiah through the middle. The nice juke move ducks underneath of the defender, and he picks up a monster game. That is what this team needs to hang their hat on. Big plays through the run that set up the passing game. Isaiah out here to the edge again, the outside run. It has not worked pretty much at all today. After Isaiah loses two, they're back in the I formation. Falls out to Isaiah, who's out here running. He's got a guy, throws it. And it hits the only defender in the area. That's the play we want to keep trying a little bit here and there. If it works, it's great. If it doesn't, well, just hope that it's not a turnover instead. Tyler throws a dot. It's about time we see him test down the field. He picks up a huge game to the four. Huge play down to the four here in the fourth quarter to try to seal this game. Kyler throws the ball across the middle. He has got his receiver, and just like that, Kyler Murray, after all those bad plays, finally stays in the pocket, throws it perfectly, gets his team a passing touchdown. 320 left. We've got an 18-point lead still, and things are feeling pretty good, but what a hit in the backfield by Oakland. Our team is trying to find a way to just push forward and make a play happen here. To the clock as much as possible and just make the Raiders... Regret they even lined up against us today, but here's Isaiah zigzagging through, stumbling down to the 43-yard line, six yards shy of 200 on the afternoon. You can stack the box with as many people as you want. You might tackle him in the backfield here and there, but if that guy breaks the line of scrimmage, he's a threat to go all the way every single time. Two minutes left in this game and an opportunity for Isaiah to try to get at least one more touchdown out there. He's moving, he's trying to get to the line of scrimmage, but 73 handles him easily. After a one-yard loss, they're going right back to Isaiah. Letting this man run the ball as much as humanly possible. He says, I promise I won't get hurt coaching. Good Lord, what a hit by Agba. After Agba nearly killed a man, Isaiah says, let me run it one more time. I'm still not afraid of him. They hit him here with a little outside run. Isaiah's got some room here. A couple guys in front. He's going for the stiff arm. He stiff arms the man through his chest. It is about time we see one of those happen. That is one of the hardest stiff arms we've ever seen from Isaiah. He rarely uses that, but it's about time he starts to open up his repertoire a little bit and show people that he can use his stiff arm if he needs to. He's now up to 240 yards on the afternoon, trying to get into the end zone one final time. Got an opportunity here, and Isaiah is into the end zone. That is a wrap on this game. He got another one, and he says, teammates, celebrate real quick. And just like that, the Raiders... Not very happy. Gruden, no longer there. But Isaiah, young fella, came to play today. Recapping today's stats, Derek Carr probably won't be a quarterback in the National Football League very much longer the way he's playing. Kyler Murray, however, 12-16, 117 yards, three passing touchdowns. Was it pretty? Is he getting a ton of yards? The answer to both of those questions, no. But is he getting the job done? Absolutely. And Isaiah, we just won't talk about it. On the ground, however, he was a monster. 252 rushing yards on 25 carries and two touchdowns. The kid was everywhere today. Lewis McKinley struggled. Tyler Murray made some dumb plays, fumbled twice. But when he was running, for the most part in the second half, it was pretty good. Through the air, Andy Isabella was reliable for us all afternoon. Five catches, 68 yards. You also see Isaiah way down here, only two grabs for 12, but one ended up being a touchdown. That's all he cares about. Today's game against the Raiders was the perfect way to finish out a season for Isaiah and the Cardinals. They started off tough. They were losing games left and right, but they bounced back, won some major games out here, lost a couple they shouldn't have, but beat the teams they needed to to make sure their team was strongly poised to get into the playoffs. If there's one thing Isaiah knows, it is how to win games. He struggled early in his career with getting to the postseason and even winning in the postseason, but once he got there a couple of times, he got the job done. 
A lot of people said, was it Isaiah or was it Lamar? Or was it a combination of the two? Isaiah is out here to prove that the combination of just Isaiah King Jr. as he leads his Cardinals team, hopefully to the promised land.